If you learn Power BI, you can expect a package of 6 lakh per annum even as a fresher and the best part is there is no coding and no past experience is required based on the discussion with hundreds of my mentees who got jobs in a power bi domain i will be sharing top three power bi questions along with their detailed answer this will help you prepare for a power bi developer job so do watch this video till the end also, if you are a fresher or working in a different domain and would like to switch your career into the field of data analytics and visualization, then I'm holding a free masterclass where I will be explaining the scope of Power BI for your career. And also upon joining, you will be getting my best selling ebook, which is 101 data analytics and Power BI interview question worth rupees 1500 absolutely free. The link for this masterclass is given in the description bio and in the first comment. Let's complete this this video and then join the masterclass let's head over to this video all right the agenda of this video is very very simple we're gonna talk about the top three power bi interview questions for any fresher and also at the end i'll tell you a way to get a gift worth rupees 1500 which is my best selling ebook which is 101 data analytics and power bi interview question let's start the discussion before we go into i would like to please request you to support my channel it's been over three years on this YouTube channel and I've posted more than 150 videos and we are about to touch 1 lakh subscribers also. And I'm trying to provide as much massive values as I can. But I can see from the stats on the right hand side that a lot of people are watching my videos but they are not subscribing it. So if you are coming here for the first time then please hit that red button that is subscribe so you can get such valuable videos directly to your inbox. Thank you so much for this. Let's move on and talk about the very first question, which is what are the major components of Power BI? That is the most common question generally interviewer ask. Generally, people are confused about it. So that's the reason I've created an entire flow. With the help of this flow, you'll be able to understand the entire Power BI components in detail. So the very first thing is in the flow is that first we actually extract the data, right? So first we need a data to clean up the data into Power BI. So we extract the data, then we transform, which means we clean up the data and then we load the data into Power BI. So we all know, so Power BI is a platform which has been used for data visualization and analysis. So first we get the data, we clean it up and then we load it into Power BI environment. So this entire thing is known as a Power Query, which is an ETL tool, right? So this is still the part of the first component. I'm coming on to that, but let me explain it to you in detail. So this is ETL process, right? So once the ETL process is done, once we load the data, then we have to do the data modeling part. We have to connect the different tables that we have put it into the model so that if they are talking to each other, it will become easier for us to perform calculation. So that's the reason the next part comes into the DEX functions, data analytics expression. And once you perform the calculation, the next step is the report building, which is the data visualization part. And once the report has been built, we publish the report onto the cloud, which is going to be Power BI service. Now, all these steps which we have done so far are into Power BI desktop application. So the very first component of the entire Power BI is the major component is Power BI desktop application, which is an offline program. You can see the screenshot right now. That is Power BI desktop application, right? So once you publish the report onto the cloud, that is known as Power BI service. So what you do over there, you create the dashboard over there also. And the next thing that you do over here is you share and collaborate with people. Now this component is known as Power BI service, right? This is a Power BI service environment. So two major components are there of Power BI. One is the desktop application, which is an offline program and one is online program a cloud-based application of power bi that is known as power bi service so the answer for the first question is what are the two major components one is power bi desktop application the second one we have power bi service so these are the two major components of power bi if you're enjoying this video so far just give me a thumbs up onto this video let's continue the next question is what is the difference between calculated columns and measures now this comes under the dex part remember the dex part that we have covered in this flow 
we this comes under the dex part which is the calculation part so it is asking what is the difference between creating a column based on a based on a calculation and creating a measure now for this actually you need to get into power bi then only you will be able to understand it but still let me just try my best to explain it through the slide the very first difference is that you can create a new calculated value through measures which is which is not available in the calculated column in the calculated column you just create a new column not the new calculated value right something which doesn't exist already into the model which can be created use, using measures but not using calculated column so this is the column based on the other columns right another thing is understand the it understand the filter context measures understand the filter context and on the other hand calculated column understand the row context now this is slightly deeper i won't be able to explain it much deeper right now till the time you reach to the level over here into power bi right but i'll try to create more videos onto this later on so that you can get better knowledge of the same also you can only it can only be seen in the report view now if you see on the screenshot right now you can see this is the report view and in the report view only measures can be visible on the other hand this is the data view now this in the data view also you can see the calculated columns which you can use and also in the report view you can use the calculated columns and the last difference which i would like to note it over here is it won't increase the file size that is the best reason why everyone who is a power bi developer who is working with power bi they create measures rather than calculated columns on the other hand if you create calculated column it eventually increase the size of your file so the best thing is always to use is measures then calculated column and these are the major differences again let me tell you you have to deep down into power bi then only you will be able to understand the logic behind all these things right so the second question you have understood what is the difference between measures and calculated column now the third top power bi interview question is what all level of filters are available in power bi report now these questions which i have discussed so far are the basic level questions which are generally been asked from any fresher right anyone who is going to apply for an entry level power bi job so what all level of filters are available in the power bi report now if you see this is the screenshot of the report in front of you now it has three things one the visuals in there in between then it has one page and if you see it has multiple pages so entire thing is known as one single report so that's the reason you have three level of filters available in power bi report one is the visual level filter which is very simple any filter that you apply on a particular visual like if you are filtering down the sales in a particular pie chart so that is a visual level filter then you have another level is a page level filter so if you apply let's say a particular year filter that you want to see the entire page that should show the data of year 2020 so it will be applicable to the entire page only and then the third one is a report level filter if you apply it suppose you want to see the entire report for a particular region then you need to apply it for a report level then if irrespective of the page that you go it will be showing only for that particular region's data so this, these are the top 3 questions that can be asked by an by an interviewer if you go for a power bi developer job or a bi analyst job right also the most in demand skill in the market nowadays is power bi if you want to get into power bi or data analytics the best thing that you should learn is power bi and you can expect a package of 6 lakh per annum also even as a fresher now the best part is that there is no coding no prior experience and no technical background is also required and the good news is that if you are a fresher or working in a different domain and would like to switch your career into the field of data analytics and visualization then i'm holding a free master class where i will be explaining the career scope of power bi for you and that to be in very detail and also upon joining you will be getting my best selling ebook which is 101 data analytics and power bi interview question worth rupees 1500 absolutely free the link for this free master class is given in the description bio and in the first comment just go there click on that register and i will see you over there thank you